Okay, so I finally ordered my um, upgraded double ding sat nav unit for the BMW E46. Um, my one come with a reversing camera, as you can see in there. Uh, I guess that's the receiver for the GPS. And the, uh, obviously for your Bluetooth, for your stereo. So uh, one instruction manual, one user manual, and some sort of report certificate. So, uh, it's all in English, so that's useful. Makes life a lot easier. Um, and obviously you've got your CAN bus cables, adapters, to uh, get it all in. So, all looks like everything's in the box. So on to the next stage. So we're inside the car now, uh, I've got my tools at the ready, you don't really need a great deal. Uh, I've got a selection of plastic levers to get the trim off, uh, the impact driver, but all you really need is a Phillips screwdriver. So I'm going to start off by removing the trim, I'm just going to go around the side here, um, try and do it one handed, it's never very easy. But um, Remove this trim uh, and also the second part. That should expose two Phillips screws, one each side. Okay, so the trim's removed. Uh, just make sure you start with this side first uh, before you remove this. Well, because you won't be able to remove this side because basically this one to the left just covers the little end piece there. So, um, yeah, remove the left-hand side piece of trim first um, and then the other one comes off. Um, it's a little bit tough. Give it a little bit of a pull. Um, don't be too afraid. And make sure the little red inserts stay back in the uh, in the actual part of the console of the car. Okay, so uh, now we can get to the Phillips screws. Uh, so I'm going to put my drill bit in, and uh, Okay, so screws are out. Then you literally just slide this forward, um, get access, and you can obviously disconnect your aerial. So with the big black socket, you literally lift it up, slides up, and then pulls itself out. And then the little one, you just got a little tab on the side there, just squeeze that in, and it pulls out. Then remove your climate control panel. Uh, you literally just push it out from behind um, and obviously you've got your little tabs on the back to release your connectors like this one you push down slide it over uh, you can see you squeeze them ones from the side uh, and the same with the last one so I'm going to disconnect those as well so with the last connector this little tiny one was a bit sticky there's no um real squeezy bit to um, release on it so I just literally got a um, flathead screwdriver just underneath it and just uh, persuaded it up and then that was removed so obviously you want to keep hold of this because this is going to be relocated uh, and this is going to go down there so you do need to buy a relocation panel ideally uh, it can be quite expensive um, I don't know if I have the correct one, but I've got one for like 25 quid on eBay. So um, we'll see how that holds up. Um, but um, next part, obviously to remove this, the um, little storage area. So, so to remove the storage tray, I've got the plastic lever down the side and it just popped out. So uh, that's easy. Something else to sell, another part. Okay, so let's move that out of the way and then um, relocate the climate control in that area. Okay, so I've connected the cables for the climate control aircon unit. Uh, you can see there's a gap there, so that's obviously where the plastic housing uh, that I've got will sit around. So 
Um, I believe that's at home, so I'll just leave that like that for now, but that'll be easy to put in. It's literally just a, a clicking um, piece of plastic. So uh, all I left to probably do is just remove the cables and put them back in again. So it sits in nice. So now we need to remove this because we don't need this anymore. This is going to be gone. Um, so it looks like we've got four screws there. So um, two at the top, two at the bottom. So before you pull this out, obviously you take out your four screws. Uh, you can see the plastic um, clips for the fan, um, for the air vents is sitting there. So we need to remove this first. Okay, so I managed it. What I ended up doing is getting the plastic tool underneath and lifting it up. And it's sort of, uh, it's been released. So we can just rest that up there for now. So that's out of the way. And now this will come out. Obviously, mind your cables. It's going to be caught up a little bit. At last, we're free. It's out. So uh, you can probably sell that with your old stereo. It's part of a kit. Helps towards the cost of your new one then, doesn't it? Uh, okay, so now we can start connecting the cables. Uh, you're probably going to have two options of cables for the back, depends on uh, which uh, BMW you've bought it for. Um, this is my one for the E46, same as the E39, so it goes into that big nasty block. Um, so um, space is obviously going to be important behind you need to pack these as tightly as possible. So uh, I'm going to plug this one in and um, do one by one and show you where I'm going to put them. Okay, so this is the CAN bus, so this uh, enables the um, buttons on your steering wheel to control the volume and skipping through and stuff like that. So uh, mine was on the other bracket, so just obviously unplug that, don't need this one. Let me go back in the box, and then this one gets plugged on there. Tucked my CAN bus little box just down the side to keep that out of the way. Hopefully that'll work, and then obviously you've got your your other connector there to go on the back of the stereo and then we can test it. A packaging thing they tend to do is putting these um, screws in so make sure you remove these little screws before obviously you put the stereo in. Get those out. There we go. Um, and now I can test it and plug it in. And uh, there's not a great deal on the back of these so obviously you've got your black one now that goes in and then you've got your aerial to the side there. So um, I think I've got a different lead for that. So I'll just check that. So yeah, for the aerial, you've got this one. So that plugs into the original in your car for the aerial. And then obviously you've got your adapter for your new stereo. So that plugs in the back. So I've just put also the um, GPS receiver. It's got a little thread, gold, can't miss it. There was a red cap on it. So take the red cap off and then screw that into position. Um, I've traced that through, excess cable down the bottom. Um, there's also a magnet on the back of this GPS. So uh, I've just put it on the metal pipes on the back for now. Um, and see how the signal goes with that. So now we're ready to put the aerial in. Now you've got the adapter on it and obviously the main plug for the power for the stereo. So here we go, moment of truth, full plugged in, ignition on, position one. Ah, there we go, BMW symbol, good start. Radio, so we're live. And, I don't know how to tune it yet, volume. Okay, no sound. So right, I'll have a little play with this and see why the sound doesn't seem to be working. <laughs> 